And I think it's really important to see how a king reached out to the people and, and made the changes in society that I think if I were in his <laughs> when my family comes and any friends. Hi, I'm Rachel Moore. I come from the USA. So uh, since I have been in Korea, I've had a lot of experiences. I started out as a tourist and touring is really, really fun here in Korea, in all of the cities. I've had some really, really fun experiences. And then uh, working, of course, the kind of work I do is, is one exciting experience after the next. <laughs> My family, some of them are curious and some of them are not. They don't ask me a lot of questions, but I send them a lot of information. <laughs> I'm always sending them pictures and, and videotapes because I want them to come and experience it. It's something that it's really exciting to be in, in Korea. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite places and I want to share them with you and I want to take my family there when they come. Number one, my favorite place of all places here in Seoul is the Kwan Hamun station. The Kwan Hamun station where you can get off and you will see a big city square. If you come out of the subway station, you walk right into two amazing big huge statues. One of them is of Admiral Yi and he was was a very famous admiral who won battle that was, I think there were only 12 ships, so I believe it was against the Japanese. He was a very good strategist and uh, he's very well known for that. He saved Korea, basically. So I really have a lot of respect for him. But my favorite king, and I'll tell you why he's my favorite king, it's King Sejong. The one thing I really like best about King Sejong is that he cared about the people. He invented the Korean alphabet so that everybody, all the higher, lower, middle, class people could learn how to read in a day and they became literate and learn how to read just changes changes everything so there's a great big statue there and every time I go to that area I have to stop and visit the statue and just admire I think if I were in his day I'd want to marry him <laughs> But also, one day I was waiting for a friend. I had some time and I was walking around the statue and I noticed that there was an entrance to a museum. And there is underneath the statue, there is the King Sejong Museum. So if you're really, really interested in King Sejong, you can go under, under the ground and, and go to the museum and learn all about King Sejong. I highly recommend it. When my family comes and any friends, I'm gonna take you. That's probably the first place I'm gonna take you. Number two, after I spent about a month in in Seoul when I first arrived and now I'm again in Seoul but I ended up going to Busan. The reason I went there was to do some volunteer work in a language cafe where I would speak to local Korean people in English so I lived like a college student in a dormitory and we would work for four days a week and on the weekend they would bring us around Busan and we saw a lot of Busan really fun places and also I had a lot of time to do what I love most is busking. Actually in Hyundai they have special bus busking spots that are especially built for buskers. I would uh, get to meet a lot of people that way, as I said. The most exciting thing about Hyundai Beach is that every day or every week, it changes. There's an event, the scenery changes, there's sometimes uh, festivals, there are many buskers, so you get to see a lot of different kinds of acts, musicians. You get a whole variety of art artistic events to see. So the other thing that the view changes all the time. Every time I would walk over to the beach and I'd go, well, what's happening now? Something else. <laughs> so if you like change and you like variety, the Hyundai Beach is really like fantastic. It was a lot of fun. And that would be because, first of all, we all love the beach area. There's nothing like the beach area. And because of the changing events, I think it's just very exciting to see what's going on now. What's, and to see the local kind of changes, the local people, how the people are enjoying the area. Because a lot of people, local people also, Koreans go there just for a great vacation and a great time. Number three, I got back to Seoul and one of the first places that I went to see was I took a tour and I ended up also going to the Coex Mall in Gangnam. Of course, Gangnam is famous for oh, Sai and the, you know, all of that. <laughs> the uh, Gangnam style dancing and all of that, the K-pop, of course, and everybody who wants to come to Korea needs to go to Coex because that's where K-pop is happening. So it's a big, huge mall, and you can go in, and all along you'll see pictures of the K-pop artists, and also there's a big screen outside where you can see K-pop artists. In the winter, it's really cool because they have a skating ring, and you can go ice skating. I went on this tour, and if you go underground a little bit, you end up in this library, and the library is huge, and there are stacks of books 
everywhere you look. And you're, you are allowed to come and sit. You'll see people sitting, there's places to sit, and you take out a book and you can read it. And in this day and age, to see so many people appreciating books when most people are using their phones and just using electronics. One thing in Korea I noticed, there's a lot of appreciation for books. There are bookstores and this library just says it all. Just a, a huge source of books where people can sit and just read and do their research and just enjoy a book. <laughs> Who does that anymore? <laughs> so I think going through the Coex Mall is really fun and the K-pop area and all of that, but ending up in the library, I think is, is really valuable experience. And so I would want to take my family and friends to see that, especially now in today's world when everybody is using the electronics. And I want to remind them that books is where it's at. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Here in Seoul, there's a place, there are many sections that you can visit. Each section is organized according to a category or according to your needs. I ended up one day, I saw an advertisement to learn about traditional Korean medicine, and uh, I made an appointment. It was free for foreigners. I said, what's this? Okay, I'll go. So I ended up in Dongdaemum, and I visited the workshop prior to seeing a doctor. We made our own facial spray. We made a tea. We learned about certain teas. Also there, there's a museum and I took a museum tour. I walked around the museum. It's fascinating. You can see the development of the traditional medicine, how they use the herbs and the different spices, how they mix it, how they prepare it, how it affects the body. I would take my family to see that because I'm into the holistic approach and all of that, the natural medicine. But when I went out, <laughs> just going there, the whole section, Dongdaemum section, is a huge market just of herbs, all kinds of herbs, mostly for medicinal purposes, not for medicinal purposes, for teas, for just, you will not believe the size of that market. Like being in holistic heaven, if you're an alternative medicine, whatever you're interested in, it's a heaven. So I would take my family and my friends there to see this fantastic display of what's available in the natural world. So out of all those four places, and it's really hard to choose which one is the best, but of course I would have to go with King Sejong. I'm in love with him. I'm in love with him. I think he is the most important. I think it's really important to see how a king reached out to the people and, and made the changes in society that everybody, every person is important. Every person deserves the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to achieve. And I think that's the most important message that I could take from King Sejong. And I would like to give that message to my friends and families and anybody who's watching. So today, I was really happy to talk to you about the places that I'd like to bring my family and friends to when they come to visit in Korea. If you liked what you heard today and saw today, please press like, of course, do subscribe, and see you next time.